This video is going to cover how to find the volume of a uniform solid. A solid is just a three-dimensional figure. First off, the volume is the area or the space that fills a solid. For example, we can represent the volume of this pitcher by the amount of lemonade that fills it up. We can represent the area or space that fills a solid using little cubes. Now, if you were to count how many cubes fill a certain space or a certain three-dimensional solid, you would get your volume. Because we think of this as cubes, we are going to be using cubic units or units cubed. Let me get my three down there. Units cubed. When we talk about a uniform solid, we talk about something that has a consistent shape throughout. These are three different examples. Our first shape is a rectangle from start to finish. Our next shape is a triangle all the way throughout the solid. And lastly, a cylinder maintains a circular shape. We can see a circle from the beginning to the end. Whenever you have a uniform solid, you can find the volume by multiplying the area of the base times the height. Let's do a couple quick examples. First, let's identify the base. I'm going to use this bottom piece right here as our base. You also could have used the side since it's uniform either way. Finding the area of the base, we're going to get 10 times 5, or a base area of 50. Looking at the height, we see we have a height of 2 centimeters. Now if we want to find the volume, we only need to multiply those together. 50 times 2, that's going to give us 100 centimeters cubed. Looking at this prism, our base is actually going to be a triangle, because the triangle is the shape that is uniform throughout. Finding the area of this triangle here, we're going to have 4 times 3 divided by 2, 1 half base times height. That gives us a base of 6. Our height in this case is going to be the length of this whole shape since the triangle is happening 15 times across this entire solid. That's going to be a height of 15. If you are having difficulties finding the base and the height, try to think of the shape in maybe a different orientation. For example, if I took this shape and I twisted it long ways like this, now we can see that the base is a triangle and the height is 15. Finally, to get the volume, we multiply the base times the height, 6 times 15, which is 90 centimeters cubed. 